Deputy Prime Minister, Minister of Planning and Investment, and Chairman of the National Disaster Management Committee, Dr. Sansai Sipandon, said it was important to reduce the risks faced by communities and to develop a nationwide system that would help mitigate the effects of disasters. The topic was discussed at a meeting of the committee on Thursday, which was led by the Minister of Labor and Social Welfare and Committee Vice Chairman, Dr. Kampeng Saisongpeng. Also present were Deputy Ministers and other officials. According to the Deputy Prime Minister, Minister of Planning and Investment, and Chairman of the National Disaster Management Committee, Dr. Sonsai Sipandon, it was important to reduce the risks faced by communities and to develop a nationwide system that would help mitigate the effects of disasters. Dr. Sonsai said more organizations were helping authorities to strengthen the resilience of vulnerable communities, but poor coordination between these organizations and the communities they serve has resulted in insufficient preparedness. He stressed the need for the committee to raise awareness of the issues involved, encourage greater participation by local communities and authorities, promote partnerships and collaboration, and mainstream disaster management. The government has collaborated with various development partners to strengthen resilience, make accurate assessments of damage and losses, identify government priorities, and develop a baseline for post-disaster recovery. This would provide a basis for monitoring, recovery, rehabilitation, and reconstruction efforts, and give guidance on preparedness and mitigation efforts going forward. Provincial representatives repeated their commitment to support the work of the National Disaster Management Committee through the comprehensive and integrated framework that has guided disaster management cooperation among central and local communities and with other relevant bodies in 2019-2020. The framework draws attention to the need to prepare aid for disaster victims so that assistance is proactive and the impacts of disasters are reduced. For several years, the Ministry of Labor and Social Welfare, local authorities, development partners, and emergency responders have tackled the aftermath of floods, notably in Atapu province, by providing financial assistance and material support, such as rescue boats and other equipment. The National Disaster Management Committee has coordinated the response to people affected by flooding in provinces around the country, supported by ministers and organizations providing power, vehicles, equipment and service to help affected communities get back on their feet. The committee's annual meeting took place on March 10 to 11 and included a brainstorming session on ways to help disaster victims and estimate the damage and losses caused by natural disasters.